Hi Matt fans, welcome back. Today we are looking at a Spectrum, an online GIS. All you long-term subscribers might remember a while ago I did a series of videos on EOS Land Viewer. And EOS have come up with a new product, a Spectrum. Here's what the landing page looks like, very exciting. Also on the webpage you can go to the blog section and have a look at the past press releases. And here, a Spectrum state that they provide simple and fast data visualization, easy data sharing via a direct link, customization, amongst other things. So let's have a look. A Spectrum will give you a 14 day trial for free. So let's sign up and give it a whirl. There's various options. I'm just gonna log in with my Google account and we're in. The interface loads up quick and we appear to have three main tabs at the top. We've got maps, data set, and analyses. So I don't have any data sets yet that have any analysis yet. And I've got the option to create a map. Now, if I go back to maps, there are some demo maps, 23 of these that I can have a peek at. But I think what I'll do instead is try throwing in some data sets. Let's have a look at what we've got. GeoJSON, Shapefile, KML, KMZ, CSV, all the usual suspects, and GeoPackage as well. Awesome. So I'm going to get some data sets together and then let's chuck them at a spectrum. I'm going to start off with my old mate Jason and pick up this counties and unitary authorities, which has come from the ONS. And I'm just going to drag and drop that into the Aspectum interface. And we've got 8 meg of data there. Up it goes, it is being processed and done. Cool, so now we can see this. If I double click on it, that takes us into our attribute table. Down in the bottom right, you can see this option to create a map. So I'm just gonna click that, let's see what happens. We need a name, so I'll just call this one Counties UK. That'll do, and uh, let's create. Huh, and look at that, our counties are in there. Seems like arbitrary styling has been given to them, and we have a default base map as well. Now, if I want to get back to my homepage, I'll just go up to the top left here, go back, and then let's add another data set. So I'll go over to data sets and I'm going to add in this local authority, which is a shapefile. If you are adding shapefiles, you'll need to zip them up, which is pretty standard. So I'll just drag this across and drop it in. Now this one's at 40 meg. I believe with the free trial, there is a limit of 50 megabytes on data uploads. And that'll take a little while to process. Obviously, internet speeds will affect how quickly that uploads. And once it's in, it's in. So let's go back to my map. Double click on that to open it up and just go to add layer. And for the layers, we can create new layers here or I can add from the data sets, from analysis or from WMS. We'll get onto those probably in a later video. I'm just gonna add from my data sets and you've got the options at the top here as well to use analysis layers or WMS. So I'm just going to add the local authority districts, add that in. And there we go. They are in. Again, we've got arbitrary styling applied to them. So let's have a look at how we could change our styling. So I'm just going to move the counties and put those on the bottom. And then I've got my local authorities on top of that. And if I wanted to change the styling of the local authorities, you can just click on here. We've got basic styles and we have got color, which seems to, to mean the same as fill in a spectrum. And then we've got the stroke as well. So in terms of the color, if I want to change the color, I can just go on here. We've got the always familiar color wheel and I will make things orange. And then we have opacity here for the fill specifically opacity for the outline specifically below and then we've got a kind of global opacity at the top so I'm just going to set that back to 100 and let's just change this color to hmm, a 
red color. That should do. And there's my local authorities. Now you can see because we've got the opacity set to 70% that we've got our English counties poking through underneath. So that's a quick look at our spectrum. Next time we'll have a look at base maps, loading in geo packages and also some more advanced styling. Thanks very much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy mapping!